everybody, how's it going today? I'm uh, headed to work and I'm gonna do, uh, I'm hoping to do a little six by eight painting before I actually start work, like I did with the uh, cloud painting recently. So that's the goal today. We'll see what happens. So here's what I'm thinking the back end of that semi truck there, it's pretty cool. Do a little six by eight, we'll see how it goes. Uh, what I'm gonna be using is some uh, burnt sienna. Titanium white, ultramarine blue, cad yellow, cad yellow light, cobalt blue, cad red, a lizard. I usually have my blue next to the other blue, but it doesn't really matter. So, and uh, I think I said already, liquid impasto gel. Okay, just going to uh, block in with some sienna. And while the composition's important, it's not super critical for my exercise today. Uh, you can see it's a little weird curve in sort of uh, parking lot area and I am going to change that to facilitate leading the eye in after I identify the main element here for focal point which is the semi tractor trailer thing there it's flat light right now so technically I could have comparing an angle I could have all day to work on this probably but and you could compare the width of the front of the cab to the sides to compare how far to make the bed here and it's fairly level uh, on the bottom here so just reinforce and spending a little careful time in the initial drawing in stage even though for this exercise it's not too important I like to practice my skills especially with urban subjects finding comparisons like the wheel ends the set of wheels ends over here just a little bit from this corner find key markers in your composition that'll help you uh, and complicated subjects to draw and the support leg whoops comes down don't worry about being a little messy in this stage because you'll clean it up as you cut paint around like when I do the wheels I'll do the wheels first and then as I'm blocking in the pavement is when I I reshape the wheels more critically because I have the bigger mass to control so I'm just gonna fib a little bit on the perspective line a little bit try to can't go too crazy because of the plane that the semi is sitting on and there's some random debris back here we'll call that functional and for me this exercise is going to test uh, you know teach me how to what what colors to put in first to be able to cut around with other colors and not muddy other colors and so on and uh, it'll be a, a learning curve for sure just a simple little composition flat sky uh, again not really looking for anything too interesting in that respect but getting some uh, thick paint on here okay I've got a few brushes out I may add some in a little bit here but just starting with some varying uh, flats synthetics uh, bristle is in there and that way I can just keep going with paint because I don't want to get into washing brushes too frequently kind of committing to having certain colors on certain um, uh, brushes so all right let's see judging needs to be lighter and more 
grayed down, adding some white. A little bit of just, I just need a dirty. See how that's dirty just a bit over here. Neutralized a little bit because it is kind of an orangey red, the burnt sienna. Next to, I never put it over the original stroke, I always put it next to. That I like. Really trying to. The key is knowing how much to mix up. I, again, I don't usually do this, so it's not hard to figure out, obviously. Just get some paint going. And fluidity is going to be helpful in working on this uh, panel. Facilitates a lot with that strokes coming off there. I'm going to get in there and see if you can see this. It's not super thick, but it's workable. Picking up more paints. And if I know the color is kind of flat throughout, I'm just going to, for efficiency, you can just cut around what's important and fill it in later as light changes, if the sun was out, that sort of thing. Identify your key areas that could change frequently I think would be important sky there are some trees back here I'm not real concerned about those and when I go up against the white sky that I just painted I'm not going to muddle around too much I'm trying to cut right up to the line push into the white line uh, the skyline but not muddle around I'll do that at the very end is when I'll that's the plan the tickle edges chisel and I'm trying to pay attention how I'm putting the strokes on see if I can zoom in there as I go back and forth later I can shape the trees into something more but this gives a good starting point and go back seems like it should be a little bit lighter a little more a lizard into that blue green gray it down so there's that now I'm going to get the some big shapes that I see that are important for me to nail right off in the beginning stages before the light changes too much even though right now it's overcast I wouldn't say overcast just hazy is getting the big tones correctly while you can get them getting in some mix into the sky color because we're going to be painting into going to be creating the side of the what do you call it tractor trailer little blue there I'm trying to isolate the I'm trying to isolate through my hand and also there's another tool you can use let me get that okay I'm just gonna use my little handy dandy view catcher use that center hole to isolate the color of the side of the uh, tractor trailer to judge better separate from other colors what I want to uh, lean towards okay so after doing that I see a very pale kind of green so I'm mixing in a little bit of the cool green I made with the lizard to create this ambiguous gray so to speak and I'm gonna test right up against the sky there not committing too much. Study, study, study. I want to push a little bit lighter. See, I didn't mix all the color. I saved some different parts as needed. Come up here.
get some. Leaving a space for the trim on the uh, tractor trailer. And there's a bit of reflection of what's around the tractor trailer and I'll suggest that. Trying to add some directional lines in the paint. Towards the back of the tractor trailer coming this way, it's a little variation. Don't worry about going on too dark at first because don't forget you got some wet paint. Now I can very lightly get that in there. I'm going to take a touch of that very pale purple and a little bit of cad yellow and see if that sings a bit. It should. Compliments here. And let's check it out. Again, saving some space for the trim work. Uh, subtle, but I don't know if the camera's picking it up well, but I'm liking that a lot. A little impasto gel. Scoop up that paint. I don't know. It's not gobs, but it's on there. Not muddling around too much. Make up, mix up more paint, a little yellow, impasto gel, a little more yellow, a little more white, a touch of that light purple, a little more yellow, go back up here and butter that on. See if you can see that. And you can push into the sky. There we go. All right, I'm going to get some suggestion of, I'm not going to try to save the white here in the wheel. I'm just going to paint everything of value and then cut back in with the white to show the rims. All right, let's get some dark going. We got the burnt sienna, everyone, uh, burnt sienna with ultramarine blue. Everyone knows that mixture. Gives you a nice dark. And This area, I'm, I'm going to put a, a fair layer on, not necessarily as thick as the lights. Let's see what happens. I'm actually going to put a little a lizard, a lizard crimson into that too. Let's do this again. You got the transfer case here. And pretty much you see just the under edge right about here. And keeping that paint fluid. It's not very fluid, so you get some pulling going on. So I'm just a little liquid impasto and terps. Reestablish that more fluidly. And then I can pull down there's a lot of information going on. The key is not get distracted, try to maintain your perspective. And Create the framework. I can clean it up with a pointed round, get in for detail, but you get the suggestion of the tractor trailer. Commit and make a stroke and leave it. K 
commit, leave it. If you got to lighten it, pick up some lighter tone. It's just a little bit lighter, it's facing the light. And then you have a rusty trim along the bottom here. It's pretty much already there from the Sienna tone end, but a little bit of uh, the Cad Yellow and Burnt Sienna. I'm going to go ahead and knock in some uh, pavement and get a, get a uh, feeling of the big blocks. Okay, just got a little notification from uh, someone I work with that trucks are delivery trucks coming soon. I'm kind of kind of in their parking spot. Sort of, kind of. So, uh, let's uh, try to knock in some pavement here real quick. I'm using the brush from the sky because it already has some blue in it. Commit to where it's important around the trailer. This is where you would clean up perspective lines like on the wheels. And again, like I was saying, because of my time constraint extreme now, I'm going to work on getting this information around here. A little too much blue in there. See, it's a little too... I don't want it looking cartoony. I like the natural look to nature and, of course, uh, urban settings can uh, be interesting. Kill this down. A little more white. Over again. So this intermingling. Uh, I can chisel a little bit of line here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to knock this in. Starting to uh, knock in some suggestion of uh, trees. Get that paint on. Sometimes I'll mix the Cad Yellow Light with the Cad Yellow Warm. Experiment, see what happens there. A little bit of red, kill down the green. Trying to make painterly marks. There's a little bit of more bluer green right here. Sorry, my talking and painting is probably going to be a little disrupted now because of my time constraints I have going on. But we'll see. Okay, I'm going to need a little steady hand for this next part. I'm going to work on just cutting some green around here to identify the detail in the framework there. Okay, I'm at uh, 25 minutes right now. And uh, as you can see, I just kind of cut around a little bit with the shadow. I got to do a little here with the uh, pavement color, but just trying to get a few things other things resolved and I just use this nice Robert Simmons Sapphire great brushes and I can just get in here this is when I chisel try to now I get a little of the ellipticals of the rims Trying to study, get a one shot pass at this. Do want other little identifiers from a tractor trailer like the connection points and things, so just dotting in a few light values. Got the triangle for hazardous materials and such. 
You only get a couple shots at this because paint mixes with the... You want some of that mix because of softness of edge you can get. Now a few little connection points over here. I'm not looking for, I'm not making a truck really. I just want some general idea of connection points. Get the idea. One stroke, flip, stop, pick up more. Shape up some uh, supports right there. with the pavement color. My challenge is trying to get painterly look to the paintings, but I still want to retain form. I don't want a, basically a sloppy painting. For me, sloppy. I want some process showing, but I also want to caress the form. I love form. I love describing form. And all these are just like random baskets and all that sort of thing over there. So it's kind of like the back back lot here. There are some difference in values and stuff. Just a hint. I'm going to get a really... Now I'm getting a little sunshine on my palette. So what happens is you overcompensate and make things too dark. But the wheel one wheel starting to kiss the sunlight and even if it wasn't sunlight it'd still have into the light a little bit so the back wheel will be darker and of course darks back here and I'll just get a muddy gray to suggest this front wheel subtle transition then there's just a little structural element here I think I call it in about five minutes when I knock some more sky in here ultramarine blue test back up in here see how it's a little dark and bright pasto gel getting some uh, too light, go back into my dirty, my uh, brighter, darker. And what you can do is just move it around like this and get the effect. One to try to cut around the trees over here to get some light in there, mix up some more paint. Don't worry about it looking too mechanical right now just keep picking up the paint and cut stop wiggle oh there's a few I want to get a little more of the crates kind of thing identified here so let's cooler green getting in a little warm into the trees here Trying to pull out just some shadows, a little bit. Not super strong because it wasn't like that originally. I think I'm going to call this. i got to get to work. Okay, I'm ending the video here. This one I got after 40 minutes. Pretty happy with it. I like the effects I got on the planes of the tractor trailer. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook. And I invite you to take a look at the Patreon link down below. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for checking out. I invite you to subscribe for everyone else. 
Thanks a lot. Appreciate your support and watching my videos. Take care. Bye.